Matter is a very interesting and mysterious concept to talk about. Matter is the stuff that makes up everything in the world around us. Pretty much everything that you see and touch and taste and feel is made up of matter. But also some of the things that you can't see are also made up of matter. Matter exists here on Earth, but it also exists beyond the Earth, in the moon, the asteroids, dust in space, comets, planets, the sun, stars, all of these things are made up of matter. But there's also matter in space that scientists believe we have no way of detecting. They call that matter dark matter. We know as Christians that God breathed matter into existence with his words on the days of creation. And that the matter that God created has continued to exist in the universe since then. Matter is truly a phenomenal thing to think and to learn about. And that's what we're going to be exploring during this first lesson on the definition of matter. We're going to start off by looking at what the scientific definition of matter is, and then several examples of things that are matter, and then some things that are not matter. Let's take a look at the definition. Matter is anything that has mass and volume. Now, those two words, mass and volume, also need to be defined. We say that mass is anything that's made up of stuff. It has stuff packed into it. If you want to be more scientific, that stuff we call atoms. It's made up of atoms. Maybe a more practical way, though, to define what mass is is it's anything on earth that if you lift it up in your hands, you can feel that it has some heft to it. It resists moving. That's another way of thinking about what mass is. Volume is a much easier concept. It's simply the amount of space that something takes up. So matter is anything that has heft or mass or is made up of atoms and takes up space. And there are several obvious examples of things that are matter. Wood, for example, is made up of molecules that are made up of atoms. If you lift a piece of wood, you can feel its heft, and obviously wood takes up space. If you try to walk through a wood barricade, you're probably not going to succeed because the wood is taking up space and you can't take up the same space at the same time. Wood is an example of matter. Another example of matter would be something like a metal can. Metal, again, has heft or weight or mass, and it takes up space. Things like bricks are obviously matter, and rocks are obviously matter. These are all examples of things that have mass and take up space. But there are some other examples of matter that maybe aren't quite so obvious. Think about this. What about the air inside a balloon? Would that be considered matter? First off, does it take up space? Well, because we know it's filling the inside of the balloon, pushing the walls of the balloon out so that the balloon itself is taking up space, we can assume and conclude that the air inside, yes, does take up space. But what about mass? Is air made up of stuff? There again, if we think about how air behaves, we can come to a conclusion. When air blows at your face as wind, for instance, if you were to take a balloon and blow it up and then let the air out and release it all at your face, you can feel it. You can feel that the air is bumping into you and actually trying to push on your skin. That's evidence that yes, it does have heft. It does have mass. It's made up of material. So even though you can't see air, it in fact is matter because it has mass and takes up space. Another example, similar, is smoke. Smoke also is matter because it has mass and takes up space. One easy way to tell that smoke is made up of material stuff is if you ever hold a glass, a clear glass, above a flame that's giving off smoke, over time as you look at the bottom of the glass you see it builds up a layer of soot. What that is is it's smoke that has deposited itself on the bottom of the glass. Smoke is made up of atoms, and it takes up space in the same way that air takes up space. So smoke is matter. 
Another thing that's matter that's sometimes overlooked as being matter is water. And it's overlooked sometimes because it's clear. But just because a substance doesn't have color, that doesn't exclude it from being matter. The two things that define matter, does it have mass? And you know that water does have heft. It has atoms that make it up. When you try to move through it, it resists your motion. And it takes up space because you can fill a glass with it. So all three of these examples are matter as well. Well, then what about things that aren't matter? Things that aren't matter either have no mass or take up no space. What about this example? You can see that this flashlight is giving off light energy. That light energy is sort of taking up space, isn't it? It's filling the space in front of the flashlight with light. But here's the thing. Does light have mass? Can you lift light and feel it resist you moving it? Not really. So we consider light to be something other than matter. Instead, we say that light is energy. Energy, we're going to learn, is anything that can cause a change or do work. You've probably experienced that light is able to cause a change if you've ever leaned up against like a dark colored car in the summertime when the sunlight is shining on it. Light is able to heat things up and change them along with a wealth of other changes that it's able to cause. Let's take a look at another example. What about sound? Does sound take up space? Well, certainly you can think of sound as filling a room. If you're listening to a speaker in a room and that sound is moving through the room towards you, maybe you can think of sound as taking up space. But sound itself, again, really has no mass. It's not like you can lift sound up. You can't feel its weight. Sound, like light, is energy and not matter. A third example. What about the movement of air particles that make up wind? Now, I'm not talking about the air itself. I'm talking about the movement of the air. Movement is not matter because movement itself doesn't have mass. The object that's moving has mass, but the movement is something different entirely. Movement, we would say, is energy. It has the ability to cause a change by moving leaves around in this picture. One final example. What about space? Empty outer space. Would that be matter? Well, obviously not. Space has volume. It takes up space. That's what it's called. But it doesn't have mass. There's nothing in that space. So it can't possibly be matter. Is it energy? Does it have the ability to cause a change? Certain types of energy can travel through space. We call those types of energy electromagnetic energy, but space itself is not energy. Therefore, we would say that space is neither matter nor energy. Remember, matter is anything that has mass and volume. That means it's anything that has heft or weight or is made up of atoms, and it takes up space.